What's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, which it says about 65% of you watching are, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you can be stay up to date on what is going on in the stock market. Today we're doing another update on Star Peak Energy Acquisition Corp stock ticker symbol STPK and their merger with STEM Inc. We have some big updates that just came out, a new report from Seeking Alpha, which is a great place that I look for doing research on stocks. And in this report, it talks about how there's a lot of hype around STPK and STEM right now and is it valid and it also goes on to talk about a little bit about the earnings report and the earnings that we heard yesterday from STEM how they confirmed 4x growth and I went over that in my video yesterday so I'll link that down below but anyways right now for those of you who aren't familiar STEM is a market leader in AI driven clean energy storage systems and this is an industry that Chamath a billionaire investor he's been very successful he has said that this is an industry that is going to lead to the world's first trillionaire and he believes that the energy storage market is massive many analysts many people are predicting this because the only way that we can have sustainable energy is you know let's say from wind and solar the only way that works is if it can be stored and that is exactly what stem Inc. does, especially with their AI platform. In addition to this, Citron Research, they've come out previously. They gave uh, STPK a $100 price target. CNBC, they listed the company on its top 10 SPACs to die for. <laughs> and really, they say that this is the most compelling ESG story right now in the entire stock market, even with the current valuation. So right now, with its current price sitting around $31 per share, STPK has a post-merger valuation of $4.75 billion. And this may seem pretty high, but from the earnings report that just came out yesterday, it's not a report, but from what they said, they explained how they remained well positioned for significant growth in 2021, and they already expect a fourfold increase in 2021 revenues from 2020. They confirmed this because they said 100% of this revenue is already covered by their contracted backlog. It's already in the books, basically. Everything's already been contracted for, and that is really, really unheard of. You don't see that. Like they're already confirmed 4X growth. So if they sign on any new people, any new customers throughout the year, new contracts, that's gonna increase that even further, which I'm sure they will definitely be able to do. In addition to this, according to their investor presentations and their pre presentation, they're expecting revenue to grow another 115% in 2022 to over $300 million. So they're on a roll. And if they're able to do everything they say from in terms of the revenue numbers and in terms of getting new customers, well, then this stock is definitely going to be a massive home run at only a 4.75 post-merger valuation right now. So they're expecting to do over a billion dollars in revenue within the next four years. And if that happens, we can easily see this company be a $20 billion market cap company, which would be at least 4X, 4 x four to five X from where it is right now. And I think it has potential to be even more because the industry that they're targeting is a $1 trillion industry. So d diving into it a bit deeper, right now, STEM, um, according to the report that this analyst went over, STEM, they are currently the largest energy, um, the most dominant company in the energy storage market in California, which is the largest market in the US. They said that they have over 106 total sites installed and 26,991 kilowatts in 2019. They explained how STEM has 51.5% of the total market share in terms of installations in California, which is the U.S.'s largest market. And while California is just one small bit of the United States, this is important because they already have a major position in the California market. And as this starts to get more and more prominent in other states, other countries, well, STEM has already had the experience and doing this in California, which will transfer over to them having the position in other states and countries as well. So right now they're number one by far in terms of top commercial energy storage installers. Number two is Aero Energy Consulting. Three is NG and four is Tesla. So they're clearly ahead by a, by so much in terms of installations and what they're currently doing. 
In addition to this, their booking revenues, like I've said, are projected to go over $1 billion within the next four years, which would be huge. And with their AI software, this is going to drive significant profit, gross margins. It's going to be huge moving forward because their AI business, their Athena technology, has 80% gross margin um, in terms of what they'll be able to do with that, how much money they'll be able to make when it's really fully up and running. In the short term, that's not where the main revenue is going to come from. A lot of this revenue is going to come from hardware installations. But over time, the real money is going to be made in their software and this recurring revenue business that they have with their Athena AI technology. So I wanted to give you guys a quick update on what is going on with STEM and STPK because this report did just come out earlier yesterday after the earnings and we also went over the earnings in yesterday's video. So I wanted to give you an update on the report on Citron Research's $100 price target and what is going on with the earnings. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to get your four free stocks each valued up to $1,600 when you download the Webull investing app using the link down below. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next episode. 